Hello, good evening, Tony. Hello, good evening, teacher. How are you? Well, I can see that you are on your way home. Yes, yes, but okay. I'm fine. Thanks for that. Okay, perfect, Tony. All right, thank you, okay? It's okay, it's okay. No All right, so I see that we also have Atilio. We have Maurice. Okay, so Maurice, are you there? Yes, teacher. How are you, Maurice? Good evening. I'm fine. And you? Good evening. I'm okay. You know, I don't know if you have noticed, guys, but after the the earthquake, right, the earthquake that we had yesterday, the weather has been different, right? It has been yeah. warm, but it is windy. It yeah. is. Yes, like in November. November. Yes, like December, <laughs> October, right? Uh huh. Yes, it is. It is weird. Wire. <laughs> yes. Okay. So, guys, let's see. Well, we are going to start with today's class. We have different things that we are going to cover today, and well, we are going to have the warm up. Then we are going to move to unit four, and we are going to continue with loyalty. But today we are going to learn more vocabulary, okay? Because we are going to learn how to use expressions to clarify a point. We are going to learn vocabulary. Yeah. So we also have a listening quiz and we have two reading quizzes, okay? Because we need to improve the reading skills. So we also have a speaking time and we have the wrap up and we also have an activity for you to create as a team, okay? So we're going to start with the warm up and as a warm up, the first thing that we're going to develop is present perfect review again, okay? So, uh, in this case, remember, with the present perfect, we use has or have plus the past participle of the verb. So in this case, we have Karen. This is the verb. So it should be Karen has sent me an email. Yes, Karen has sent me an email. Okay, present perfect, guys. The review yeah. about present perfect. Yeah. Number two, Dave and Pat. Mm -hmm. This is it. This is it. Yes, this is it is the verb, but the auxiliary verb. Yes. Have visited. Yeah. Have. have. Yes, have visited because we have two. Dave and Pat. Number three, I. I has been. Mm, I has been. Or I have been. Uh -huh. been. I have been. Okay, I have. Number four, they. Hmm? They have or they has? Uh -huh. they, they have. Packed. They have. They have. Packed. 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 Yes. Packed. They have packed already their backpacks. Number five, Marcus. Have, 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 we have done the shopping for our grandmother. Number five. I have cleaned. I have cleaned. Very good. I have cleaned just my bike. Perfect. Number eight. Emily. Has. Has. 
Painted. Painted. Yes. yes, Emily has painted. Number nine, Lisa and Colin. Yes, Lisa and Colin. Have. Have. Have gone. To a concert. Yes. And the last one, guys. My friends. My friends. Mm -hmm. Have given. Have had. Have has no. My no. friends have given. Given up Given. smoking. Given up. Given up smoking. Given up. Okay. Given up. Hmm? Okay. Very good. Now let's move and let's work on a spot the 10 differences. We have 10 differences right here. But I want you to tell me, okay? Which are the 10 differences? from those two pictures let's see mm -hmm. which is the first different uh, the need no, no. of the plot no. oh, okay oh uh, yes okay the, the banana the banana yes yeah. so we have three and we have two okay perfect so yeah, okay. we have another one uh -huh. one cup the door yeah. Good evening. Good evening. Okay, so one. The door behind the, the spoon. The door. Good evening, teacher. You mean this, Jonathan? Good evening. Yes, yes. yes correct. We have the knobs, the, right? Yeah. Down with this, if the cup is blue, only one. Uh -huh. Okay, so we also and have those. The cup. Mm -hmm. yeah. A candy. Yeah. Aha, uh -huh. the cat has a candy, so aha, uh -huh. what else? The hair is the whole woman have ha? I don't know is ha something. I think that is I don't know what, what is that. I think that is a I don't know. A clip the or child, the child have, have a face? figure ping ping I don't know what is that. Ah, yes. Aha. The salad. The salad, oh, yeah. correct. How what else? One dish uh, have a happy face. A emoji. Oh, oh where? In the check, check, chest of the grandma is different. Ah, uh, yes. Okay. The, 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 the picture uh, is uh, what? Uh, is the salad is a, a square, a green square after the salad. And before, I'm sorry, before. Oh, oh, yes, this one, right? Yes, before. The children. Excellent. Mm -hmm. The sock. The, the child had the tongue, tongue. La lengua de fuera. Yes, outside. Very good. I think there are more than 10, right? What else? The clock. I am, I'm the sorry. The clock, yes, yes. Right, yeah. The big the mountain is different. Yes, the picture. Uh -huh. Very good. Can you see another one? The four on the cake. Really? Yes, and the, the pink thing. Ah, yes. Oh, my God. It is true. It is different. Uh -huh. Okay. Let me see. That's, Some... it. That's it, I think, right? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Like fourteen. More than ten. More than ten, right? Okay, perfect. The, the feet okay. of the two. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is done. Thank you, Carlos. Okay, very good, guys. Okay, let's continue. Okay, let's continue. Okay. So we are going to start with unit four. Remember that unit four is about loyalty, okay? 
So today, guys, we have um, the following information. How to use expressions to clarify a point. Now, it's very important to mention that you have uh, this link. I'm going to share the link right now so you can open that link and you can see the meaning of each of the phrases that we are going to cover, yes? Because you are going to use them, okay? So how to use expressions to clarify a point? Basically, guys, today we are going to focus on vocabulary, okay? So in this case, um, let's see. Um, Carlos Omar, help us reading all of this. Using expression can be a powerful tool to clarify a point and make your communication more effective. Uh, allow me to clarify, to further emphasize. Emphasize. What this, emphasize what this means to break it to break it down. Let's be clear about to summarize. Let me give you some context. The point I want to make is to avoid any confusion to underscore this fact. Mm -hmm. To put it simply, mm -hmm. what I mean to clarify my point, mm -hmm. let me realize that what I'm trying to say is to be more specific to elaborate, elaborate on that, mm -hmm. to make sure. This expression can be used to sign that you're about to provide additional explanation or make your point clearer. They help to create a small, a smaller flow of communication and ensure that your audience understands your message effectively. 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 Okay, guys. Well, in this case, those type of expressions, we call them a clarification expressions. Okay. So they help us basically um, to clarify a point and make our communication more effective to avoid misunderstanding. Yes. And we have different phrases, as you can see right here. We have the first one, which is allow me to clarify. Yeah, remember that on the link that I sent, you can see the meaning in Spanish, right? Allow me to clarify. That is the first one. Then we also have to further emphasize. Yeah, what this means is. Those phrases, guys, all of these, you can use them whenever you are making an exposition, whenever you are explaining a process, when you are probably explaining something um, that needs to be really, um, I would say, you need to focus on the explanation and you need to avoid confusion, right? So to break it down, this is very common. To break, let's break it down. Yeah. So now to summarize, let me give you some context whenever you are explaining something and something and the other person does not understand what you are saying. You can say, okay, let me give you some context and you give an example. Yeah. So the point I want to make is, yeah. So whenever you want to emphasize an idea, you know what? The point I want to make is uh, branding is really important for marketing, yeah? To avoid any confusion, yeah? To avoid any confusion, I want to say that we need to create a marketing plan, all right? To underscore this fact, in other words, to put it simply, mm -hmm, to put it simply, yeah. What I mean is this one is the, the most common one that I'm pretty sure that you have heard this one. What I mean is, and the person explains, right? So to clarify my point, let me rephrase that. This is very helpful, guys. Whenever you probably are saying something, right, and the other person is not getting it, 
you can say, you know what? Um, let me rephrase that. And you use different words. Uh -huh. Let me rephrase that. What I'm trying to say is, yeah, to be more specific, to elaborate on that, right? Whenever you have a better opinion. Yes? Okay, Wendy. We can hear you, Wendy. Don't worry. Don't worry, okay? To make it clear, okay? To make it clear. Whenever you want to maybe emphasize your ideas, to make it clear. So guys, um, these expressions can be used basically to provide additional explanation or make your point clearer. This is very important. They help to create a smoother flow. And what is a smoother flow? Uh -huh. Es como decir un flujo suave. Algo suave, okay? Más preciso. Yes? Of communication. Okay. And ensure that your audience understands your message effectively. So this is not only um, whenever we are speaking. No, this is also used whenever you um, probably create um, different paragraphs, descriptions about processes. Okay, so we can use them in speaking and also in writing. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. So then let's continue and now let's focus on the book. Okay. Right here, and we have how to use expressions to clarify a point. Yeah. So we have a couple of them. As you can see from the book, we can get a, in other words, that is to say, simply put, right? But right here, um, I have given you more phrases, all right? But on the book, we have this. Then help us reading Morris, number one. Wendy, number two. Carlos Omar, number three. Jonathan, number four. And let me see who else. Um, and number five, Emerson. Okay. Number one. One way to help your target market light and truth to is to publish of the top online channel. In other words, write a blog that inform entertain and educate. Mm -hmm. Number two, to gain a grace, you reading us as an expert and risk a broader market by developing a podcast that is to say record you thanks um i love your customer to 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 like it number three today's customers are looking for warranties simply put exceptional service after they have purchased your product number four another free marketing resource for your current internet customer is inventing them to participate in a social networking site, namely a fabled group. Okay. Ultimate marketing goal is to have your target market thinks of you. This which means that you must focus on satisfying customer needs. Okay, now this one is target. Target. Target, and this one, okay. satisfying. Satisfying, okay. Excellent, thank you. Okay, guys, first of all, let's take a look at the grammar part. As you can see, when we use in other words, right here, we separate that expression with commas. Look at this, comma, and coma, and in other words, is in the middle. Yes? 
One way to help your target market like and trust you is to publish often through online channels. Coma, in other words, coma, write a blog that informs and enter, entertains and educates. So um, those are almost the same guys, almost the same as transition words. Do you remember about that topic? So it is almost the same, yeah? Then we also have simply put and look at the commas in the middle of the ideas. Of course, you are going to decide which phrase you want to use depending on your idea. Yes, depending on, on your thoughts. Yes, we also have namely, right here, coma and coma. Yes, and we have this means or which means, either or. Cualquiera de las dos está bien, okay? So if you say, this means, esto significa, this means, y dice lo que quiere decir que significa, or we, you can say, which means, lo cual significa. This means, esto significa, which means, lo cual significa. Yeah? So it is almost the same. Those are synonyms. Yeah? And as you can see on this one, we don't have any coma. It is not necessary with this expression. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we need to use comas, basically, all right? Um, what else? Well, on this uh, document that I sent, I don't know if you have it, the ones that connected probably a little bit late. Let me, um, let me see if I can share that again. Well, this is the, the document, okay? This one. I'm going to send the, the link. Again, so right there you have um, all of those phrases, the ones that we cover at the beginning and also the ones from the book, yeah? And you have also the information in Spanish, okay? Because we're not going to cover one by one like in Spanish, right? But you have all of this right here. Yeah? So now let's move and let's work on the exercises from the book. Okay, so right here, guys, it says, insert an expression to clarify a point in the following sentence. Add the necessary punctuation to join the, to join the clause and a phrase together, okay? So we have one, two, three, four, and five. According to the book, according to the book, those are the answers. Okay, so we already have one right here. It says, one way to increase brand awareness is to generate online advertising, coma, simply put, coma, social networking sites. According to the book, okay. Of course, we can use uh, another phrase to clarify this idea. Yeah, but from the book, we have simply put. Then let's move to number two. Uh, Jonathan help us reading number two and three and Emerson four and five. Okay. Brand recognition is very important element of brand awareness. Is other words, the customer knows that a particular brand exists. Number three. Brand recon recognition happens when a customer is able to identify a certain product or service, namely by viewing the product logo. Mm -hmm. Number four, this, this brand has become well known. This main, in other words, they have replaced the common term for similar products in our language. 
Number five, you have to pu publish high quality content. Simple put by creating valuable, valuable content to be introduced to the new audience. To new audience, okay? Uh -huh. Yes, okay guys. Those are just phrases for us to clarify the ideas. Yes, this is merely vocabulary. So now what I can tell you is the following. Sometimes when it comes to punctuation marks, what we need to do is that we need to end the first idea, then add period, then the phrase, and then comma. Okay, that would be the best way to do it. But if you want to use the, the main idea, the first idea, then coma, then the phrase, coma, and the other idea, it's okay as well. It's the same as the transition words, the same thing with punctuation words, yeah? Right here, we have this means or, it could be in other words, either or is okay. Okay, and uh, well, simply put, right? Yeah, so we have those phrases that we use to clarify a point and make our communication more effective. Remember, you use these when you are explaining something, when you are describing processes, whenever you are making an exposition, okay? to make your thoughts more clear. Yeah. Do you have questions? No questions right now? No? Okay, well, this is just vocabulary, vocabulary. Okay, so now what do we need to do? Well, we need to use those phrases, the, the ones that uh, I share with you, and we need to create the following. It says, group work. We need to design an infographic. Do you know what is an infographic? Infografía. Okay, and can you explain to us that? What is it? Well, don't represent. Work. Go, go, Nelly. Um, represent an information with uh different pictures. Excellent. Very good. Thank you. So yes, in this case, as Nelly mentioned, it is going to be this. Um, Nelly, help us reading the definition, please. What is an infographic? An infographic. Short for information graphic is a visual representation of data, information, or knowledge designed to present complex information quickly and clearly. It combines elements such as charts, graph, icons, images, and text to visually communicate ideas and insight. insight. Yes, guys, basically the infographic is this, the information, okay, is represented in a visual representation. This one, and we have seen many type of infographics, right, is whenever you present a topic, but you present images, right, and use the most important information. I mean, as you can see, it says tips for anxiety. Tips for anxiety. It says sleep and then for six to eight hours every night. It is clear, concrete. Yeah, breathe. Use deep breathing techniques. You see? So it gives the main, um, I would say term and then a short explanation, but very short. Okay, because the main idea, all right, with the infographic is that to present complex information quickly and clearly. 
Okay, so that's what we need to do right now. And we need to design one of these, one of these, but with the topic benefits of investing in increasing brand awareness. Which are the benefits? You need to present that topic with images and a short description like this, right? You add the topic, look for images, depending on the information that you find. And you need to decide what is the information that you are going to type. I don't want big paragraphs. I just want information quickly and clearly. Okay. Yeah. That's what we need to do. Do you have any question? Any doubt? No? Okay, very good. So now then let's um, work, okay, on this. Try to create a short infographic, okay, about this topic, yeah? Let me just create the rooms, okay. Drive. Yes, don't worry, okay? If you Hello. can do Yes. Okay, teacher. Thank you. Okay. Hello, hello. Hello, Maurice. Hey, how are you? Hi, Maurice. How are you? Hi, fine. Okay. Okay, I'll start. Uh, so we should... have, yeah, sorry, guys. We have Abigail, George, Mayra is here, guys, okay? And Maurice. Yeah. Okay. Very okay. good. Um, guys, do you have any question? Mm, okay, maybe a, a tip that I will give you, okay? So you can probably um, start with the infographic. Yes, is this. On the internet, what you need to look for, I'm, I'm going to stop sharing the screen of Emerson, I think, okay? And in this case, what you need to look on the internet, guys, is this. You need to look for, you just add benefits of increasing. Let me see. You need to type benefits of increasing brand awareness. And you will see many, many, many um, like documents, right? Let me see. Why is not loading? All right. So. 
Then, in this case, what we need to look for is one that actually you like, right? So, for example, if it is this one, but I don't know why I cannot. Let me let me see. Give me one sec. I'm going to retype. Yes. Okay. So once you type benefits of increasing brand awareness, you need to look for an article that calls your attention, right? Once you find the article that calls your attention, you are going to start with the infographic. For example, let's say that this one, brand awareness, what is benefits? Because I'm looking benefits, right? I'm looking for benefits. So I need to go and read. You see, you have a, a term right there, a definition, and you have benefits. Brand awareness builds trust, create an association. And you start adding those things and you need to remember, use images to represent this. In a short definition, but very short definition of each. Yes, a short definition to make it clear. Yes, para que la persona que vea la infografía, vea el dibujito y vea la pequeña definición y uno se haga la idea de qué es este beneficio. Yes, es lo que tiene que hacer. Si no, busque otro artículo y va ahí, miren. Aquí son hay steps, ok, y así van descartando lo que no le guste. Yes, that is a tip, all right. So, if you have questions, me las pregunto. ¿Qué me las hace? Okay, thank you. Yes. Okay. Beneficio de invertir en, en una marca. Tenemos que elegir sí. una marca. Sí, hay que mm. elegir una marca. Hay que elegir una marca y vamos a presentar datos, eh, digamos, gráficos. De comportamiento de la venta, que el mes de vende más, todo eso con porcentaje. Y ahí vamos a utilizar el tipo de gráfico que nosotros necesitamos utilizar. Uh -huh. Lo único que podemos inventar un dato, sí, pero. pero Guys, sí. Sorry, sorry, Morris. Um, ok, in this case, I'm going to. Uh, I'm going to stop sharing Mayra's uh, screen, ok? Sorry, but I'm. Okay. I need to yeah, I'm going to present this, okay? Bye, guys. So, the activity goes like this, yeah? It says, group work, design an infographic about the benefits of investing in increasing brand awareness. So, oh. what, is, what is the information that you are going to present? The benefits of investing in increasing brand awareness. So what you need to do is that you need to go to the internet and you are going to type mm -hmm. benefits of increasing brand awareness. Once you type this, you will have many articles. Yeah. You can use advantages or disadvantages. But in this case, if we are looking for benefits, what is a synonym for benefit? Advantages. Okay. Mm -hmm. So in this case, Let's say that you decide to use this article because it says brand awareness, what it is, benefits, and easy guide. Okay, that helps. It is going to be useful. I click on that and I have a short definition about brand awareness. And then you see I have benefits of building brand awareness. And I start, okay, number one, brand awareness builds trust, create an association help build brand equity and like this right so i think that we have a uh, five five benefits on this article so what you need to do is i already have the benefits i already have them so i need to go to powerpoint i need to look for images and then you need to add the title of each one and remember, you need to add a short definition, but very short. Tiene que poner una definición cortita para que la persona que lea la infografía tenga una idea de qué trata brand awareness builds trust. 
Y después se pasa al segundo, create an association. Busca una imagen que represente ese beneficio y pone una definición cortita de ese beneficio. Solamente para que la persona que lea la infografía tenga una idea a qué se refiere cuando decimos el beneficio create an association. ¿Sí? Así vamos a hacer la infografía. Entonces, lo que tienen que buscar es un artículo que les convenza que tenga los beneficios of increasing brand awareness. Eso tiene que buscar primero para crear la infografía. ¿Bien? Yes. Ok. Yes. Is it clear now? Yes. Ok. The, ok. It's ok. All right, guys. Then you may start. Ok, puede comenzar. Recuerde, tiene que utilizar imágenes, porque la mayor parte solamente es imágenes, que se haga bonita la infografía, porque al final eso es una infografía, donde se utiliza imágenes, líneas, ¿sí? No importa mucho el texto en esto, importa más los colores que use, las imágenes, images, charts, different lines, colors, ¿sí? etc. Ok, guys. Sobre la inversión, eh, brand investing. Me voy a, voy a conectar un icon, pero lo, uh, uh, we were, we doing canvas or in other program. Uh, in whatever program. I think for the time it. Uh, um, you can log in with your uh with your email. Gmail. Yes. Um, the first, the first one. Yes. It's a, it's a infographic. No, un diagrama de flujo. Es el que se ve ahorita es un diagrama. Mm -hmm. You have an example, guys, about anxiety, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, let me let me share my screen. This is the example that we have. Yeah. So you need to create one with the topic. Yeah. You need to use images. Images. Uh
encontraste Dale. We can use this um, design of PowerPoint. Only we insert the text according mm -hmm. our investigation in, in Google. Uh -huh, uh -huh. For example, the first uh, maybe um, okay, I say in the chat what is brand awareness the concept. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I send an image. Brand awareness. Brand awareness. Wow. The concept. We can start the brand awareness is build troops que significa esto genera confianza what is brand awareness brand awareness is the degree the cognition customer has of brand of product Oh, this thing. The concept. Okay. I send a image of the chat. Uh huh. Oh, shit. Um, for example, ah, que es imagen. Mm. I send in the chat a nice state of brand awareness. We can take this this state to create the, the presentation. Okay. For example, state one create a consistent brand image. Eh, les mandé el concepto ahí. What is brand aware? The, the, the definition in the chat. Okay. Do you see? In the first paragraph. El primer paragraph. Lograron verlo. Oh. 
I see the ninth step uh, de Carlos Sem. Uh -huh. Maybe we a uh, summary or oh. in five step only because In, in the first image, uh, it's translated to Spanish. For example, number one, crear una imagen de marca consistente. Uh -huh. Number two, conoce tu audiencia, establecer tu tono de voz. Uh -huh. vale, lo podemos traducir entonces. Yeah. En el, en el crear una marca consistente. En este caso, podemos colocar una imagen de un logo. Ajá. Uh -huh. La segunda es colocar eh, una imagen de un público. En la También. tercera, col colocar eh, una persona que esté hablando. Ajá. Ah, los United States. Ok. Mm, yes. Está bueno que sea colorida la imagen, ¿verdad? Porque como sí, dice, sí. Que tiene que llamar la atención. Sí. Maybe you send me in the chat a uh, image, for example, Carlos step one, Maurice step two, George, you there? Are you there? And Abigail? Hmm. Sleeping. <risa> Compartiste esa información de los nuevos pasos, ¿verdad? Ajá, o sea, busquen también una imagen, por ejemplo, que define el paso uno y yo voy armando aquí la, la ah, infografía. Ok. No sé si les parece esta... No, está bien, está bien, está bien. Es lo más complicado, es lo más complicado buscar la figura. <risa> ¿Cuál es la primera? Get now you oh. brand image is the first. Vale. Lo step. que podemos hacer es eh, darte la información en cada paso. ¿Qué tipo de dibujo podría buscar? Porque la información ahí está. Ajá. Step one. Um, uh -huh. Sí. I'm saying image to step two. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, Mayra? Yes. Um, do you have Canva? Ah, yes. <laughs> so use that one. I, think yes. that picture, right? I don't remember that story. It's yes. very interesting. Yeah, yeah, it is easier and you can search for yeah. the images right there. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Thank you. Okay.
tag. What is CEO? CEO. And instead, five this say, do your CEO to build brand awareness, be a CEO, you That's need five. what people are searching. Uh, it's like, como el mercado. And Five. Step five, see you. Uh -huh. Where is uh, <clears throat> see you is like uh -huh. there is es como investigar, verdad? Uh -huh. Okay, aquí hay que hay una imagen. Eso de investigar. Este, podemos poner una lupa. Uh -huh. Sí, ahí. Una lupa. Ah, así es más o menos la imagen que eh, ahí es. Step okay. Pero hay dos files. Do your seal. Is the file? Is like a social media. Aha. In social media, we can put YouTube, Facebook. The logo of the last. The logo of this. Yes. Now we're going to create one. Create content. Eso de crear contenido, Carlos, siempre se uh -huh. ahí para crear, eso es para crear contenido, como se Create, share label, content. Eso me imagino que también se tiene que usar, usar la social media. Sí, sí. Can you use social media? Number seven, crear contenido para compartir. Mm -hmm. Ahí están los youtubers, ¿verdad? los creadores de contenido. Sí. Implementar contenido de la marca. Ground. 
is this step seven? Uh -huh. okay. continue para compartir. I send in the chat the image. Uh -huh. Como dije, que son breves la, la información que tenemos que poner. Number eight, implementar campaña de marketing. Prácticamente los pasos ya están, lo único que la figura es que pone. Ah, ya. Ya, ya están todas, todas las imágenes. Sí, no. No sé, creo que quién lo está eh, Bueno, yo estoy buscando, no sé si alguien más está buscando. Oh, yo también estoy buscando, pero mi internet está demasiado lento. <risa> Ok, ahí envié el último paso, la medición de la marca, cómo la vamos a medir. Esta figura que mandaste, Brown. Ya.
Two. Okay, so are you almost done or no yet? No. <laughs> okay, don't worry, okay? Hello. Oh, Carlos. Hello. Ahí también en el, en el WhatsApp el, la define, el concepto de SEO. Oh, SEO. Search Engine ah. Ingeniería de la Optimización de Productos. ¿Lo tenés acá? Sí, sí. Por ejemplo, create to to web crear una página web de la marca. Yeah. Oh, I can use a uh, example Google, Bing, Baidu, Yahoo, and etc. etc. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah.
Lo estoy moviendo ahorita, pues, eh, Emerson. Ah, vaya. Ah, sí, ya está agregado, es cierto. <laughs> I don't use much canvas, but uh, it's the same. It's the same principle. Think. Uh, what is? Oh, it's. Es una sola imagen. La del fondo es una sola imagen. Ah. Uh, ok. You can you can add um a y y squared in the in the center and and um type the benefit in this the title or topic topic in the in the square. Mm -hmm. Only benefit. No, all, all, all topic. Grab it. What is the topic? Benefit of investing in increasing brand so, all all. <laughs> mm, aquí, verdad? Mm -hmm. Y está en elegante. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Mm -hmm. uh, I try. To, I try. Uy, perdón. No sé si se puede hacer esto aquí. ¿No costaste, mi amor? I think it's aquí. Benefit in Está todo el texto acá, no. You can change. Um... Okay. Porque es, es la medición de los KPI. Con gráfico, gráfico de papel o algo así. Okay. Bar graphic, bar graphic. Ah, Mm-hmm. 
Okay, I think we finished. Okay, guys, just let me double check uh, that the other team is ready and just decide who is the one that is going to um, present, okay? Okay. But, Wendy? Marjorie Brown Brown I hold up for me. Mm-hmm. Some of us La flecha de ra around. Sí. Ahí. Sí. Y no, no, no le hemos puesto como los números, ¿verdad? No. ¿Cuál es el Criero Association? El 3, ¿verdad? Um, Red is the second, I think. Creating Association no. is... Your equality is, is, is number 3. Ah, Creating Association is the number 2. 2, perdón. Yes. Para que no se vea. Que no se vea tan. La U. Criellas. He estado veces Criellas Association. What is. What is this? Yo lo mandé. Bien. Ok. I, because in infography we have a, a chronology. Yes. Um, brand awards, awareness, bill is truth. Trust is number one. Creating associations number two. Um, health build running equity equity is number three. Place the mark on the first thought is number four. And For more customer loyalty, uh, is not in the promote customer loyalty. No, 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 Y 
is the number three. I think number three. Falta uno. <laughs> yes. And sí. And the other is number four. But um is place the mic on the first thought. Solo. This four. <laughs> yeah, but um, it's not promote customer loyalty. Is is um place the mark on the first coach, coach. The name. The name. The name is incorrect. Uh huh. Yes, uh, promote customer loyalty. Is the five. Um, you you have to change the name for that picture. Mm. Is the it play the mark on the first so so. In place that, in place that promote customer loyalty. In Spanish. <laughs> so you need to change. I, I I think that Nelly says that you need to change promote customer loyalty for what, Nelly? Um, for. Um ah, the place the mark on the first so place the place the mark on the first thought. Mm -hmm. Okay, Carla. So promote <laughs> delete promote customer loyalty. Okay. Uh-huh. Uh-huh, delete that one. And add place. Okay. This. Ah, uh -huh. yes. Place the mark on the first thought. Uh -huh. Correct, like that. And the first one where it says brand awareness, uh, oh, I think yes. that is bills. Uh huh. And double S. Awareness, yeah. bills, like construir bills. Uh -huh. Very good. Uh -huh. Maybe. Uh, your color. <laughs> Maybe I think it's a uh, idea. <laughs> okay. Okay. Who who is the number one, two, three, and four? Who who going to explain? Who is going to explain? Who is going to explain? Mm -hmm. it. Maybe me. <laughs> Everything. Oh. <laughs> yes, but guys, I mean, what you need to say is that you need to give also a short explanation for each one. Oh, not only mention it. No, you need to say brand awareness builds trust. Why? And you explain. Okay. 
Okay. Uh -huh. With your own words, okay? Con lo que se recuerde y le salga, okay? No se preocupe, pero sí una pequeña ex explicación. Okay, I want number two. Okay. E number three. I do. I think they may in the with the phone it's good for brown? No. Hello? No, 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 no conven convence me. <laughs> it's okay. Okay, who's first? You? No, no I'm, <laughs> I'm number two. <laughs> you are? Emerson, Emerson three? Yes, you I am sure. The first. No, I'm second. <laughs> ah, I'm, I'm the first. If you want. Okay, Wendy or Carla? I... Number one and four. I am then Wendy. Hello. You are participate. <laughs> are you participate? Yes. Oh. Are you participating? Yes, Carlita. Okay, number one or number four? <laughs> uh, number one. Okay, I am number four. <laughs> Okay, so I let's go. <laughs> okay. Hi, teacher. Sorry. Oh my God, don't worry, okay, Tony. Okay, you finished now? Yes, I am finished. I'm from right now. Okay, perfect. All right, so just let's wait for the other ones to, to join the main session and they are going to share what they did. Okay. Um, okay. Yes.
Okay. So guys, I'm going to take the attendance and then um, you are going to start. Going to start. So the first team that is going to uh, present is going to be Mayra's team. And then we go with Nelly's team, okay? So let's see. Atilio Ernesto Castillo. Present teacher. Thank you, Atilio. Carlos Omar Linares Cañas. Present. Thank you. Carlos Vladimir Rodríguez Díaz. Present teacher. Thank you. Eduardo Franco Núñez. Present teacher. Thank you, Eduardo. Emerson Ulises Monroy Calix. Fátima Gabriela Loza Castillo. Present teacher. Thank you, Fátima. Jonathan José González Domínguez. George Antonio Sánchez Quiñones. Present teacher. Thank you. José Bernardo López Montes. Present. Thank you. Juan Antonio Elías Flores. Present teacher. Thank you. Juan José Herrera Alvarenga. Present teacher. Thank you. Carla Sofía Argueta Chévez. Yes. Kenia Elizabeth Rodríguez Celaya. Present teacher. Thank you. Luis Miguel Corbera Enríquez. Present teacher. Thank you. Mauricio Antonio Velázquez. Present teacher. Thank you. Mayra Cecilia Peña de Aparís. Present teacher. Thank you. Nelly Lilibeth Andrade García. Present. Raúl Antonio Jordán Miranda. Present. Thank you. Sandra Abigail Bonilla Cano. Present. Thank you. And Wendy Marisela Ramírez Guevara. Present teacher. Thank you. Mm. Okay. Very good. Uh, thank you, Mayra. Okay. Yes. Remember to give a short explanation on each uh, benefit that you decided to add. Okay. Okay. And with my team. Uh, we find two nice steps to brand awareness strategy. Mm -hmm. um, the, the brand awareness is general term that describes how familiar consumers are with uh, brands or its product. Um, but simple brands awareness is the measure of how memorable or recognizable, recognizable a brand is to its target audience. Mm -hmm. And my team is starting to explain a very step. Mm -hmm. Okay. Carlos, can you explain uh, the step one, one and two? Step one. Okay. Step one is create a consistent brand image. Mm -hmm. uh, this can see the develop a clear and recognizable brand identify. Uh, the, the audience knows who they are and what they stand for. Mm -hmm. Step two. Uh, uh, get a uh, get to know your audience mm -hmm. and listening to to uh, uh, potential customers uh, to find out what they expect from of, from our brand. Okay. Okay. Um, step three is uh, you refer to tone of boy. This refers um, uh, we can define how we want to convey the value of the brand. 
for example, um, the tongue of boy of night is a uh, strong and serious, like they have a campaign, the name is uh, Dream Crazy, mm -hmm. and they use uh, some athletes for, uh -huh. uh, athlete for um, the, for the compare or share the, the brand. Okay. Uh, step four, uh, the name is selling proposition. Mm -hmm. uh, this step refers to how we can, what is uh, our proposition to the another brand? Mm -hmm. what, uh, what I, um, sorry. <laughs> Um, it's referred, uh, what is uh, your consumer want and how can I uh, serve or um, yes, what do you, que ofrecemos, no sé cómo decir. Oh, so what we offer. We go, yes, thank you. Next, George. Okay, the next five is the, just the social media. Um, it's important to identify the right social media platform for your brand awareness campaign. And mm -hmm. think about promoting your brand hashtag there. And this step is very important because um, the customer know the brand through, through this means. And mm -hmm. the number six, um, Yes, thank you. Shareable content. Um, uh, it's very important because uh, in this step, create the content that solves the problem. The people will be more likely to share it and it's one of the best ways to get the people talking about your brand. Okay, okay. shareable content. Number nine. Numbers seven. Yeah. Implement remarketing the marketing campaign mm -hmm. is very important. It's a poor approach to boost the brand awareness. Mm -hmm. The aim is to strengthen your message among your exciting potential client base. Okay. Uh, number, number eight, measure brand awareness. Mm -hmm. Track cake Capran awareness metric. They should be related to your KPI. Is KPI. Uh, KPI. Mm -hmm. uh, the word KPI mean this is indicator are all the variable factor and unit of measurement to generalized a marketing strategy. Mm -hmm. The present, the present score is one of the most important metric. All right. So we have eight, eight benefits, eight. right? In this case. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, shareable content, remarketing campaigns, measure brand. Create a brand image, okay. Get audience, tone of voice, selling promotion, okay. Uh -huh. All right, thank you, all right. Thank you guys. Uh, all right, so Nelly, Carla, Emerson. I share the, ah, yes. Yes, Emerson. <laughs> Uh, Mandy? <laughs> okay. Mm. 
brand awareness both truths in our world consumer rarely mm -hmm. um excessive research and the opinions of the other before uh, marking and um, purchase customer truths in the brand is very dim. <clears throat> in owns consumer in Jays, uh, way to brand, they are more unlikely to read purchase we without I thinking about it bringing in the gap uh, between truth and customer loyalty. Okay, creating association, brand awareness associated <clears throat> actions and products to certain brands. This allows to have more reach and brand recognition with the target market. For example, nowadays, um Barbie's movie with uh different brands like Aldo shoes. Uh they they create together uh Barbie shoes, uh par shoes, and in the movie theater, um they have a uh, pin pocket popcorn too. Mm. Um this is my example. Okay. Number three, help build brand equality. Refer to describe brand equality determined by the customer's experience with the brands and their overall perceptions. I talk about the or benefit. Uh, this benefit uh, is about your brand comes to mind first. Mm -hmm. um, you can pull, pull it uh, through repeated expression and consistent delivery of a good product or service over time. It's, it's about the product if you uh, see um, any things mm -hmm. you remember the brand okay this is the four place the mark on the first note on the first thought so perdón. <laughs> sorry oh. thoughts uh-huh all right so those are some benefits of brand awareness okay so we create an association we um well brand awareness builds trust help build brand equity and place the mark on the first thought uh -huh. okay thank you guys all right so guys let's move and let's work on the reading quiz okay so we have um two reading quizzes but let's see if we have the time to take both of them okay um there you go with the first one the passcode is reading yes reading capital letters yeah so i'm going to share my screen so you can read but you can also find the the icon on the on the pdf file okay on the spreadsheet from the class um let me see yes okay so we have the first one let me share my screen and where is it okay basically what you need to do is that you need to choose all right you need to choose the word that completes the sentence on the quiz. Yeah, you have the paragraph right here. You need to choose which word completes each number, one, two, and three. Yeah. So I think that we're going to have around six minutes, all right? It's simple, yeah.
Okay, thank you, Jonathan. Okay, thank you, Emerson. All right, guys. Um, so just let me see the scores. Um, was it difficult? No? A little. Mm, a little bit. OK. Yes. yes, a little bit. A little bit. Confused. Mm -hmm. OK, guys. All right. So well, tomorrow we are going to practice reading again. OK, so we are going to have around three quizzes tomorrow about reading. So for today, we are done with our class, guys. Uh, please, might I stay with me? Then the other ones, I hope you have a good night, guys. Take care, and I'll see you back tomorrow, okay? Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Bye. Thank you, teacher. Bye. Bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night, guys. Good night. Good night. Okay. Mayra. <laughs> eh. Luis Miguel. No puedo salir. <laughs> Okay, let me let me remove you, okay? Yeah, okay. And okay, bye -bye. <laughs> okay. Bye -bye. All right. So, let's see. Um it says Oh, yes. All right, Mayra, uh, we are going to have our feedback. Yeah, I would like to know how do you feel with our classes? Yes, how do you mm -hmm. feel with the dynamic of the class? Right? Um if you have any feedback for me, something that you would like to share with me? Yeah, I would like to know about your learning process with the English language, right? I would like to know if this is the first time that you are studying with us or if you have studied from the very beginning, from beginner one with us, right? Um, no, it's my first, uh, my first time studying with uh, this program. And for me, it's very, it's very dynamic, uh, your, your, your class, because it's very, uh, we, como nos hace participar, how do you say? You make us participate? 
and you make Max participate. Mm -hmm. And I think I improve my English. And for a apart, how do you say? Um, besides, besides, I I I download a app. Okay. For practice more and <laughs> because the the is very difficult for me to maintain the conversation mm. <laughs> because I don't have a lot of uh, vocabulary or verbs. It's very confused for me the the times mm -hmm. to create the sentence. Okay, so Mayra, um. Um, so I understand that you have studied English before, right? Yes. Okay. Yes. Uh -huh. Okay. And how was the learning process? I mean, did you go to classroom classes on site or online? Well, I study English in the university. Uh -huh. uh, five years ago mm -hmm. um, in 20, 20, 2022, no sé, 2021. Oh, no, 2021. 2021, I studied in, in a academy, press, uh, modal presence. Classroom. Presential? Cla yes, uh -huh. presential, yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, okay. But so, only two months. <laughs> two months. Okay. Got yeah. it. All right. Well, Mayra, in this case, um, you know, you have noticed that in our classes, we practice different skills, right? Remember that in this case, the, the main objective is to uh, make you develop uh, all of those skills, not only reading, not only listening, not only speaking, right? Because, I mean, you need to learn all of the areas in the English language, right? Because it's very important. Then um, in this case, how do you feel with the, with the um, you know, with the dynamics that we do, with the expositions that we create? If you have noticed, since we have the book, we need to complete the exercises from the book. Right. So, but how do you feel with the topics? Do you feel the topics are difficult when it comes to marketing, or are you familiar with those topics? Yes, I. Um, this um, topic is my is was my favorite in the in the university, okay. but uh, translate to English. Uh, the vocabulary <laughs> is very um, weird uh -huh. for me because I didn't know before. Yeah. Okay. But this is interesting. Excellent. Okay, Mayra. So, yes, remember that, I mean, you are not going to learn all of the things in one day, right? It's just a matter of practice. Yeah. yeah. Okay, perfect. So now, Tell me, uh, do you have any issues with the platform? Mm. Uh, with the platform, with the online platform, do you have problems with the exercises? No? Um, no, no. I think I finished okay. uh, all of um, exercise. Oh, really? I haven't, I haven't seen. Okay, I'm going to check that. <laughs> Mm -hmm. okay. I think I finished, <laughs> but it's now 100%. Okay. Maybe 90. 90, okay. All right. But it's what I finished, I think. Okay, perfect. So, Mayra, let me ask you, okay? Uh, would you like me to include something else in our classes? Would you like me to include, I don't know, any specific thing that you would like to learn? Something? Si me gustaría que incluya algo yes. en Spanish. Uh -huh. um, um, I think no, it's very complete because 
the last time you um, you make us remember the present tense or the past tense um, that are is very difficult for me and mm -hmm. maybe and we can you can make us practice or como leer los números oh numbers like quantities uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. yes okay yes i'm going to take that into account okay yes okay numbers okay something yeah. else um no i think okay for no. the moment it's the only yes it's the only thing right now okay yeah. Mayra. well um well my feedback for you is the following okay i have noticed that at the beginning of the module probably you were feeling like you know this is my first time right i don't know how the class is going to be but um, I have seen that you participate a lot, right? And that is something good because remember that if you do not practice, I mean, you you probably learn things and you memorize things, but when it comes to speaking, your pronunciation is not going to be good, right? So by you practice, you participate. And I think that that is something really good. Keep doing it, keep uh, participating, okay? Because that is the only way in which you are going to improve your English okay. language, right? So I really like that you participate in most of the classes, right? Sometimes you are on your way home and probably you do not participate that much just in that like period of time, right? But once you get home, you always participate. You always turn on your camera. There are some times that you do not probably turn it on, but it's okay. But you are always like paying attention and, and all of that. And I think that that is something good, okay? Keep participating, all right? Whenever we ask okay. for volunteers, try to participate as well. But right now, I think that you are on, on the way, right? You are in a good level. So the main purpose is that when you reach intermediate four, so you are better than right now, okay? So okay. I hope at the end of this module, I mean, imagine we are um on the third week and i think that we are on class seven no today is class 16 i think let me check no 17 class 17 so we are missing only let me see 17 18 19 20 eight classes eight classes to finish this module and then you reach intermediate four right so mm -hmm. with the main purpose is you learn more in intermediate four but i mean you learn in in this module vocabulary fluency right new words and that you are not afraid of expressing your thoughts right because sometimes we do not participate because mm, maybe we're afraid or we don't like to participate right but you you participate and that is something good so i will say that that is uh something that you shouldn't lose right you should always participate and participate and participate okay okay so my um then i think that I mean, thank you very much for being responsible because you are always in, in the class, right? So that is something good as well. Um, and basically, I don't know if you have any questions related to any topic from the ones that we have covered. Questions about topics? Mm, no, uh, one topic I have a difficult, but i share in the internet okay for complete or for better understand, understand. Uh -huh. okay that yeah. is good okay perfect if you have questions um about topics you can ask me okay we we can include uh, maybe an explanation okay or something okay. um then well, if you don't have any question right now, this is pretty much the feedback time. We would like to know how you feel, right? So, and, and I'm I'm glad that you feel good with the classes, okay? So far okay. you feel good. Then, uh, Mayra, if you don't have any question, I'll see you back tomorrow, okay? Okay, okay. All right, Thank you, so I hope you have, okay, good night. Take care. Good night. Okay, bye-bye.